All right guys, so I got both sides installed. It looks absolutely amazing and it's time to show you guys the final result. Enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to Tank Garage. My name is Frank and I will be the man behind the camera. In today's video, we are installing sequential LED turn signals on the S80 V8. Before the video starts, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from Tank Garage. All right guys, so these are the factory stock turn signals on the S80 V8. They are clear, transparent, and are just regular blinking light. Uh, the new ones that we have purchased are actually just like these. They are all black, so all smoked out. Let me give me a second. I'm going to take it out of the wrapping here. So they are all black like this and are actually sequential like I mentioned so these will go flickering from one side to the other and they are LED so it will make everything look super nice all right guys so step number one is gonna be folding in the mirror all the way to the inside with the little lever uh, you want to make sure they're all the way inside because you will need a pry, to a pry tool like a screwdriver to pop the mirrors out so you want to do this on the left and the right side once that is done you should have enough space on the left side here to put in the pry tool I recommend you guys using uh, some tool like this it is a little pry tool that you can put in the back and just pop it out. These are super cheap. They're like $10 on Amazon. All right, so I'll put you guys onto the tripod and I'll get both mirrors popped off and I'll see you guys right after. All right, guys, so once the mirror is completely out, as you guys can see, I got the mirror clipped off here and I also just broke a clip doing so, yeah. Be careful because the clips are super, super sensitive. Uh, I actually broke one of these little, uh, they're little plastic clips. They're not the end of the world if you break them, but still, uh, it's still something that's pretty important. But once that is done, you're going to see in the back, there is a little hole on top where you will need a screwdriver to push through and it's going to unlodge this plastic cap on top. Again, be careful. You don't want to break the clips, but you want to press hard enough so that everything comes out. All right. So once you grab your screwdriver, like I said, there is a little hole about this big in the back right side of the mirror. You want to grab the screwdriver and you just want to push a little bit on the inside and you'll see that the whole mirror assembly is going to undo by itself. It is a little hard. You kind of want to be careful. You don't want to push too hard. I'm just going to focus and not talk to you guys and do it. I'll see you guys right after. Here we go. So now we have the back cap off, guys. You'll see the little hole is actually right up here. You guys can see the little marks that I made on it. This doesn't matter, it's just plastic. Um, but this is what you wanna take off. This little tool, guys, like I told you guys, these little orange tools are on Amazon. They're super, super useful for these types of jobs. Even if you wanna remove in the interior bits, it's super, super useful. So next up, I will go in and point for you guys right about here on the back side of the turn signal. You will see there's a little connector right above here that you want to push on. Once you do push on that little connector, be careful again not to break it. Once you do end up pushing on this right about here, as you guys can see, the whole assembly should pop off by itself. Then it's just a question of unplugging the bolt inside the bulb. You want to unplug it and you want to plug it again. I'll show you guys right after with the uh, turn signal, uh, the sequential one, which came with a little adapter like this right here. That is done guys, you will see that the assembly actually comes off. Again, be careful, it's super cold and the clip broke again. Um, it's not the end of the world because it's pretty much clipped all in place and the mirror holds it down. But still, you don't want to break uh, the little clip that's in the back here and I broke it. Unfortunately, it's super cold out guys and I wanted to get a video out for you guys. So I'm doing my best here, but just be careful again not to break the clips. Now, next step, if you look right back here, you have the little connector for the light. You just want to pull that connector out which will remove the bolt that is inside and then it's uh, pretty much plug and play. You install everything back and you're ready to go. All right, so once the actual assembly is out, you can throw this on the side. You're gonna have the bolt right here that you wanna remove. So it's super simple, it's just a little twist and pull. You wanna take this little bolt out, uh, this little bulb, I don't know why I keep saying bulb here. You twist it and you pull it. My hands are super slippery. But then once you do remove that, as you guys can see, 
This little connector right here is gonna go straight inside of this uh, bulb receptor and then you just place the assembly right back on top like this and clip everything back in. Okay, so I got the little bulb out guys and now what you wanna do, just make sure you peel all the plastic off because once, once you install it, it's installed. You can't really take it off after. So just pull it off a little bit on the side. Uh, you wanna make sure you have the right side. So this little clip right here goes on the left side right here. Uh, you want to make sure you connect this first so you just super simple you just push it in you plug it in before you install everything guys you want to make sure that everything works so i'm just going to seat this right here i'm going to seat it in like that and before i actually finish the install i'm going to go inside the car and try it out i'll be right back Perfect. So as you guys can see, it works. Um, the light turns to the side like that. Super nice. It looks actually pretty good. Uh, I'll show you guys some B-rolls after of the look when everything, you know, we'll go for a little drive and see if it uh, keeps working. So now it's basically the same way as you put it on. You want to make sure that you're, uh, I'm actually going to go turn it off real quick. So you want to make sure that everything is seated properly. Again, before you actually go and install it, I would recommend you make sure that the little clip in the back here is well pushed. Then you take the plastic off, like so. You just slide it back in. And you wanna make sure that this little piece here is well seated, that everything is in place. And then you will hear it clip in right here. It should look just like that. It should be seating about the same angle at the bottom. Then you wanna grab your mirror cap. You wanna make sure that it fits good. You wanna test fit it like this. See, it's sitting perfectly at the right height and then you wanna go ahead and put the mirror cap right back on. So like you guys can see, we got the whole mirror cap on and now the last thing is to actually put the mirror on the back side here right back. Super simple guys, there is two little pins on the top that you need to slide in and then you just Press, press it down, make sure it's all nice and tight all around. Don't worry, you're getting fingerprints on the mirror, you can just clean it off afterwards. And the install is completed. It should be flush at the bottom here, guys, flush at the top. Make sure there's a little gap on the top. It's supposed to be about a quarter of an inch of a gap all around. And just make sure that the mirror is well clipped on because you don't want to be driving around with a mirror falling off. So I'm gonna get the other side done, guys. It's basically the exact same thing. Super simple install, guys. This took me literally 15 minutes to do this side uh, because I was recording and setting up the camera and everything. But without like filming, this would have taken me five minutes. And the look is absolutely amazing. Like you guys could see, you have the whole black bulb here, um, the whole LED turn signal. It looks absolutely amazing. All right, guys, so I got both sides installed. It looks absolutely amazing. And it's time to show you guys the final result. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright guys, final result is absolutely amazing. These little tiny exterior aesthetic details are just what is going to make the difference with this car once the full build is done by next summer. This is going to be an absolutely outstanding build guys. We absolutely promise it to you. Uh, our goal with the S80 V8 is to make a one of one. Nobody will ever make one like this, uh, maybe after us, but from what we've seen guys, nothing has been done in the past in which way we are doing right now. So hopefully you guys enjoying the content on the S80 V8. The playlist for the other videos are down in the description below. And if you guys are enjoying the content guys, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from Tank Garage. See you boys.